Doug, somebody writes in to say, I've been a conservative my whole life, and lately I've been really disappointed with the American conservative movement. There's been a shift, but I can't quite put my finger, finger on it. Where did conservatives go wrong? Okay, so I th- I would file this under um, Jeshuan waxed fat and kicked. This, um, Cotton Mather said uh, that faithfulness begat prosperity and the daughter devoured the mother. Mm-hmm. So in the 1950s, there was the liberal democratic establishment and William F. Buckley. Okay. <laughs> right. And then on, on the fringes, John Birch Society and um, groups like that. But... Uh, Buckley is the one who sort of kick-started the modern conservative movement mm. represented by the masthead um, of National Review. And that coalition was a coalition that included uh, social conservatives, military hawks, mm-hmm. and free market uh, libertarian types. Okay. All right. So, and it was a it was a it was a, an alliance that was had lots of crackle in it mm-hmm. o- over the years and it was hard work to you know maintain but it came to its um, apogee in the election of Reagan mm-hmm. I, I, I would uh, say and since that time uh, so that was a coalition that worked mm-hmm. and elected Ronald Reagan and I, I would say that was a real achievement. I was, I'm really grateful that happened. Uh, he served for his two terms. And uh, after that, uh, you saw the growth of what some members of the hard right will describe as conservative, conservative Inc. Okay. Uh, INC, period. Um, uh, lobbyists, uh, people who... Uh, live in Washington, have lived in Washington, D.C. long enough to go native and, and uh-huh. to have their uh, sensibilities shaped from within the beltway. Okay, so the uh, initial conservative mo- movement that culminated in the election of Reagan was a coalition of outsiders, you know, mm-hmm. just almost complete outsiders. And since that time, a lot of what's gone on under the heading of conservatism has been conducted in part by insiders. And, and it's a mixed bag. So I'm, uh, I would describe myself as a hard right conservative. I, I, I believe that um, I'm, I'm a paleo conservative in mm. lots of ways. So I'm um, down the line that way. But I look at the achievements of Conservative Inc. as a mixed bag. They do, they do outrageous. They do things to infuriate you, and mm-hmm. then they do things that I'm forever grateful. So, an insider conservative type would be someone like Mitch McConnell. Okay. Okay. Um, who's who's the leader of the Republicans in the Senate? And he's, you know, he just signed on to this gun bill, and um, he's he's done all kinds of waffly things, but he's also saved the republic a few times. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. <laughs> There's yeah. that. So I'm, um, so he's the one who um, kept Merrick Garland off the Supreme right. Court. He's the reason Trump got three uh, votes on onto the three onto conservative the voices Court. onto the Supreme Court. Uh, as we're recording this, the Dobbs case. The Dobbs decision has not yet been handed down, but it's looking like Roe is going to be greatly truncated or reversed. Mm-hmm. And if that happens, thanks to the three justices, thanks to Donald Trump, mm-hmm. thanks to Mitch McConnell, right? Right. So you say uh, you can't just say uh, these guys; it's all yeah. bad. It's not. It's not that way. But um, Lord Acton said it well: power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Well, okay, so so you make that distinction between outsider and insider, and and when you just leave it there, your imagination can kind of fill in what the, what the difference between those two might be, and, and it seems like you could go in one of two directions. One is taking the act and quote and just saying corruption. You you yeah. you you're there too long. You're you're morally compromised. You're right. corrupt, and your your principles are all for show. They aren't right. real principles, um, or it's um, there is something. That's that's if you just go 
really cynical. People who've been there for a long are all corrupt. Yeah. On the other side, there's people who have been there for a while and they've just gotten good at it. Like yeah. there, there's something about yeah. being in yeah. DC that you can tell there's a way of getting just good at the kind of work that yeah. is done there. Is it bad to get good at that? <laughs> and and if so, why? Why? Yeah, it's um, it's not bad to get good. It's good to get good, but there's a price to pay for getting good. Mm -hmm. Right, because the true blue conservatives are going to think you're going soft, because you know how to pick your battles, you know that this is a loser. I can't win this one, so mm -hmm. I'm not going. I'm not going to waste any ammo on it. You know, th things like that would be someone who gets good at it. Uh, so I have no objection to getting good. But one of the w ways you would tell that someone's really good is they would understand the price they're paying mm -hmm. in order to get good, um, and so. Um, we, you have to, it's, it's the easiest thing in the world during election season. My opponent voted for releasing child rapists, mm -hmm. you know, and this is because he voted on a $50 billion bill, which on the bottom of yeah. page, uh, 538, there's this footnote that, you know, um, but my opponent voted for it. Well, every, the, I don't think that there the federal government can be the size it is and have your representative vote on any bill that involves money mm -hmm. and not be compromised or tainted <laughs> okay i don't i don't i don't think there's any any such thing as a pure vote uh -huh. unless you went there and voted no on everything which is tempting uh -huh. <laughs> so so you're not you don't have a pollyanna view of what it would be like to be an effective conservative no. politician i i would say a person that I would put in that category uh -huh. that has functions effectively, but signal does picks the right things to signal to the uh, foot soldiers in the conservative movement that he's not lost his way mm -hmm. would be someone like Rand Paul. Okay. So I, I really like how Rand Paul conducts himself. I like how he draws principled lines uh, in certain, certain issues, but he's not, uh, going over the cliff every 10 minutes either. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching. I wanted to make sure to let you know that season four of Man Rampant is here. For the next few weeks, we'll be posting clips on the Canon Press YouTube channel, but the full interviews are only available on Canon Plus. Check it out at mycanonplus.com slash manrampant. And if you haven't joined up yet, you can get your first month for just 99 cents by using promo code MR99.